Hey guys, welcome back to the Blue Elephant Gifts. So today what I want to do is I want to make some silicone inlays using all of these molds. Now I've seen it done before um, on other YouTube channels and I do want to throw out a disclaimer out there. If any of you try to do this, I cannot tell you that the silicone, whatever silicone you're using with whatever mold you're using is going to work and come out. Um, but it's something that I'm willing to try with these particular molds. I, I didn't pick any molds that were like super crazy expensive. All of these molds are on the cheaper side. Um, but they are all molds that I thought would be kind of cool if I could make an inlay out of. So I thought, what the hell, why not? Let's try. Uh, so I'm using the Let's Resin brand silicone and I did equal parts by weight and mixed it together for about four minutes. And now what I'm doing, I did not spray any um, mold release on these. And my reason is up until this point, I've tried using this a few different times and I've had some struggles with what I feel like is getting it to cure properly. It's every other time it has still been quite sticky on the outside. Like it hardens up and the mold that I make I can actually use but it's sticky so I wasn't sure if I guess it was coming from that or whatever there's so many different factors that it could come from that I wanted to kind of keep that one out of it just in case that was one of the issues that I've had in the past process of elimination I guess um anyway so all I'm doing is I am putting it into these molds. Now, some of them, like the one with the bells and this one here with the holly and then the little Merry Christmas signs have some deeper spots in them because they are kind of like 3 d um, and the bells and the holly and the berries on the holly and stuff pop out some. So I wasn't quite sure how that was going to work. But I wanted to try because I really do like these molds and I thought that if I had an inlay of it, I can do something different than some other ideas that I have in my head with them. So we're going to see. The um, golf clubs, it's a pretty shallow mold. I, I don't think I'm going to have an issue. The only thing that I'm super concerned about is I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all of these out. So I don't know if I'm going to have issues with the silicone, you know, just completely fusing together with the mold that I'm using, or maybe it just doesn't cure at all. You know, I've, I've not tried this before, so this is a first for me. So I thought, you know, I, I, something that I do want to try. And like I said, I did use cheaper molds to, to mess around with because I don't want to, you know, completely ruin something that is, um, uh, super crazy expensive on this. But yeah, I just wanted to see what I could do. Um, a lot of the Christmas ones are for videos that I'm going to have coming up if it works. Uh, but we'll see. The letters that I'm doing now, I had purchased them thinking that, honestly, that I was going to use something with them. But I have not come up with anything. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's okay. I don't use this mold anyway. But I did think that an inlay of the letter could be kind of a neat thing to have. Um, yeah, and then the, uh, Harry Potter one right here that I, I can't even think of it. Oh my God, I can't think of the name of it. Whatever. It's a keychain one, but I thought I don't want to use it as a keychain. And honestly, when I've poured resin into it, it has never worked out and come out good. So I thought, well, let's see making an inlay of it and I can see if it works. And then if it does then I can just cut off that top circle part. So I know a lot of you are like, oh, these are way, way, way too thick for inlays. And I know some of them are. Again, I'm experimenting with what I can do with this. Um, here we are. It's 24 hours later, and it is time to demold these. Now, some of them are quite sticky on the bottom still. Not crazy sticky like... They have been in the past when I've tried, but a little, a little sticky. And it does take me quite a while to unmold all of these. Um, some of them, it was quite difficult. The ones that went, had like the 
deep um deep parts in it like where the bells and the holly and stuff those ones were quite finicky to get out um this one right here just completely failed i couldn't even get it apart um i tried for a hot minute and then i put it off to the side and tried again later on and yeah it just i couldn't even get it out which that one I guess I am a little bit more upset about than any of the other ones because that was the only time I've ever used that mold. I've never even cast a resin piece in it, so that one I'm a little upset with myself with. But, I mean, you live, you learn. Um, these ones here, they come out. Now, they did in certain areas, and again, maybe this is where if I had sprayed mold release, it would have worked better. Um, but certain areas did rip off. The silicone from my mold and it's in there so I just honestly need to like kind of cut out those pieces I'm gonna try and recast and see if it's anything that causes any major damage in the mold I'm not sure yet um the bells now they come out really really nice and I am gonna go through at the end and kind of show you guys in a lot slower motion it just takes me a long time to do all of this um but what they all look like at the end anyway they come out really nice but this is where i was saying like it was hard to demold these because of the depth of the certain areas of the mold how it goes in because this is actually i think it's a fondant mold and it goes like really deep and really thin down in there where the the silicone didn't have any issue getting in or any of that um it just made it harder to get out. Uh, these ones here, they're all little golf things. They all came out for the most part. Now, the one thing that I did learn, um, and this is something if you are planning on making inlays, think about this ahead of time. Uh, the golf bag that you can see at the bottom of the screen, um, it's got little like super, super fine lines in it. And then where the golf clubs are coming out, they're really, really skinny and thin. Those are the ones that I had the most trouble with. And it wasn't that the silicone did anything wrong or it didn't take because it did. It absolutely did. Um, it, it was just so thin that when I was struggling to get it out, they ripped. Like my reindeer here, poor guy. Um, he's three legged now. I, I'm still going to use him in something, but he is missing one of his back legs and his antlers are not as quite as big and pretty as they once upon a time were, but he'll be okay. Um, <laughs> these molds came out beautifully. These ones were just absolutely, I mean, probably one of the easier ones I had to demold if I'm being honest. Um, and I don't know if it's because I could pretty much just bend the entire thing inside out and it just kind of just peeled right off like a dream. Like, it was perfect. The other thing to consider when you are doing this is remember, you know, whatever your your mold is is what you're going to get out. So if you're like the berries and the holly, those molds are all matte molds. So if you are going to make a inlay of them, it's going to be a matte it's not going to be glossy so just kind of keep that in the back of of your head when you're doing this that that's how it's going to come out these ones right here they came out really really nice too um so whatever silicone this is that the mold was made out of is like the perfect stuff to use but yeah all in all i i, I finally got it it's a good success i've got a lot of inlays now there is something that I tried and I was going to film it and then I ended up not, well, I filmed it, but I ended up not posting about it because I just, it just, at the time, nothing seemed like it was working. And then I let it set around for a little while and I had deleted the video already off of my camera and I was like, no, this is just a complete fail and I'm just not going to, I'm not going to post it. I had tried making some molds or some inlays out of stencils and it actually worked out quite nice and at the end here I'm going to show the actual mold that I made I don't have the video for it obviously but yeah just some really cheap stencils that I got out and that was the one thing that 
like one of them didn't cure on like the picture it had like I think four or five pictures on it or whatever on the stencil that I used and one of them didn't cure the whole entire way on the top of it when I did it like this was like the only thing that actually really truly worked out of the entire all the stuff that I was fooling around with that day but yeah it actually worked so and then it's thin you know like an inlay I know should be not like these these are obviously thicker than ideal for the most part but I think for what I want they'll work out fine so I think in the future at some point I may do a video where I'm actually using the stencils to make inlays with. I don't remember actually ever seeing any videos on YouTube. I'm not saying that there's not. I haven't specifically looked for molds or inlays being made of stencils, but I do think that it's a whole new untapped thing that, you know, can make a huge difference in your piece by doing it. And then this way you don't have to just do it by tracing or whatever, it'll be a whole nother way to do them. I also have some other ideas on what I want to try using wood, and I know that wood can be some finicky stuff, but I think maybe if I seal it properly beforehand with like a lot of varnish that I might be able to get it to work. This one here was a complete fail too. I was able to get the A out, and that's pretty much about it. It really didn't cure right and it was all bumpy and gross and just disgusting and here is the finished all of them now they were like I said a little sticky so I did what one of you guys had suggested and just kind of brushed over them lightly with baby powder I wasn't sure how in casting it it would work I do show something I just cast something real quick they're ugly pieces don't pay attention to what they look like. It's not for anything actually other than just showing you that it does work as an inlay. Like there, it's not like a project or whatever. It's just a, Hey, see it works type deal. So don't judge me on the, these cause they do turn out quite ugly. Um, but they work. Here is the stencil that I did and you can see the moon kind of got a little messed up and right here, like I said, this is just something to show what it looks like with the stencil and then with three of the other pieces that I demolded and how they turn out in resin as inlays. So the only thing that I did notice is when I was going over them with, I went over it with chameleon powder. It wasn't sticking. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that I put the baby powder on there or if it was because they were matte molds to begin with. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it did not stick to it whatsoever. So I think next time maybe I'll try, I don't know if Mod Podge, Mod Podge would work or if I need to get like a, the gilding glue for gold leaf or whatever to make it stick, but it did not stick to it like at all. The only color that actually comes out of it is what was just kind of like kind of sat in there. This is why I'm saying don't judge me on this piece because it's just, it's not good. Uh, but the main thing was just to show you that the detail st and stuff does work and that it they do work as inlays as well. Um, I'll have like really real projects coming up with them, some of them here in the near future. But yeah, I think all in all, I had a successful go at this for the first time ever. Thank you, Jesus. And that's very exciting because I do have a lot of ideas on different things that I want to try. I do have another one. It's a clear one that I want to try next go around and see if it works any better than this one. And then here we are 24 hours later taking out... The inlays, which they come out with no problems whatsoever. I mean, absolutely perfect. Like I said, they are all matte. If it's because of the baby powder, if it's because of whatever that the the chameleon powder doesn't stick to it. But I'm going to experiment a little bit more. And if you guys think that that's what the case is, I've never actually used inlays before. So it could be that that's just how they all work. I really, really don't know. 
but I am excited because this opens up a whole new possibility. And then there's something else that I'm kind of playing around with. If I can get the um, chameleon to stick, I, I have an idea on something I want to try. And I've not seen it done before, so I want to see if it works. But I got to get the chameleon powder to stick first. So if I can do that, like it comes out, the actual detail on it comes out really, really, really good. This is where it it's not so much here when I'm putting this on. It just, you can kind of see, like, just when I'm applying it here, like, the coverage is just not anywhere near what it normally would be. And that's why I think I might need, like, the gold leaf glue or something like that. Maybe it'll stick. I'm not sure. If you know what it is specifically, please let me know so I can go out and get it because I'd really like to make this work. And like I said, I'm hoping that if it does work out the way that I think that it should, I, I have an idea on what I want to do that I think can change a lot of things and how you use the chameleon powders. But I got to wait and find out first. I got to make this part work before I can try the other part. <laughs> but anyway, so... I'm just going to do this, pour the next layer of resin over, and I'm just using white. I don't want to use black. I just want, like I said, this is all about just seeing how it, it looks as an inlay, not as any particular piece of resin art or anything like that. It's just for the inlay purposes. I didn't want to go off without showing you guys something on how they look being as thick as they are. And uh, I'm going to do this pour the resin and then I will show you me demolding them and what they come out looking like. And as far as that goes, that's it for this one. I'm going to wrap it up. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, you guys have no idea how much it helps my channel out by you doing that. And it kind of pushes me out there into the YouTube universe and says that, you know, hey, people are liking my videos and it'll help me grow my channel a lot a lot and I appreciate it more than you guys will know. So I do have a question for you guys before I jump off here for today. I am getting close to being able to have a members page and I want to know what would you guys like? As a member what would you like to see? What kind of perks would you like to have? so that I can start putting that together to offer whoever would be interested in supporting me through my journey. Leave me a comment in the comments below and let me know what you guys would be interested in and I will see what I can put together. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and jump off and I will see you guys Thursday for the next one. I have a really cool one coming up, so I hope you enjoy it. Love you guys. Bye.